Do you want to learn on how to save money? In this video, I will share my four simple methods that you can apply so you can figure out on how to start your own savings. Saving is like setting a healthy lifestyle. To start with, you will have to control and discipline yourself so that in the long run, you will be able to get great and better results. What is the secret in saving? The secret is to start today. No matter how little you're starting with, it is always possible to begin saving money. The sooner you start, the sooner you'll be on your own way to financial security. Do not think that saving is a sacrifice, because if you spend wisely, you will have more money on what is more important in your life. So let's get started. First, know your goal. One of the best ways to save money is to set reasonable goal. Let's say, you want to buy a new computer that is $1,000. You'll say, I need $1,000 and I want to buy that in a year. That means, I will need to save at least $85 per month. This could be a very good goal for saving. Why is it important to know our goals? If you know what you want to save for, how much money you need will give you a clear picture on what to do and realize it easily. In the end, avoiding those unnecessary spending is easier because you have established a goal. Second, do saving small step at a time. Sometimes, the hardest thing about saving is just getting started. You can start saving by putting your money in a piggy bank, the old way of saving, but still effective until today. One way of doing so is to put the change in a piggy bank after buying groceries. This method of keeping the change quickly adds up to few dollars that can soon be used to open a bank account and transfer your savings. In this way, you are not only saving, but earning a bit of interest of your money. My top tip is to get into the habit of saving. Cut your costs, look for ways you can make more money, and put away some money for savings each month, even if it is a small amount. Check within yourself if whether you are doing something you don't like. In most cases, doing something you do like leads you to overeating or overspending. Third, pay yourself first. We have been practicing the old way in saving, that is, income minus expenses equals saving. And with this principle, it doesn't matter if we save or not because it is what is left per month. However, if we modify it in this way, there's a bit difference. Income minus savings equals expenses. What is the difference? Deducting your savings first means allotting less money for expenses, less money for unnecessary spending, and less spending means better use of money. So, how much money will I save? $50? $100? How much is it exactly? Each of us earns and spends money differently, so I will assume it in percent of earning. Ideally, that is as much as 15-20% to 20 of your earning. But relax, if this amount is impossible for you to realize, you do smaller amount and increase it gradually. You can start from 3 or 5% of what you earn. Number 4. Use the method which best fit for you. In the internet or libraries, you will find plenty of information on how to save money. But it is not all about reading and studying and using all the methods because this may be applicable to some but not to you. You will need to experiment, try different options, and choose what best applies to you. If you don't know what method to use, you can do a self-check, then evaluate and track results. So, here are my four methods in saving. 1. Know your goals in saving. 2. Make small steps at a time and make saving a habit. 3. Pay yourself first. 4. Choose which method best applies to you. If you have a new and different methods of saving, share them in the comment section. If you are new here, please subscribe to receive more videos like this. I'll see you in my next videos. Bye!